gosh, you guys, I am so excited for this video. Hi, hello, I'm Ashley. Um, I have seen people on Instagram talking about the Sharpie S Note and I knew I had to get them and I had to try them out for myself. And then I actually put a poll up on Instagram and asked y'all if you wanted me to do a video showing you guys um, the Sharpie S Notes. And y'all said yes, so here we are. We're I'm excited for this, I can't even talk. Okay, Sharpie S Note, you get 24 chisel tip markers look at those colors you guys so many gorgeous colors i'm so excited for it so you can do notes you can do underlining highlighting and drawing with these things so here's what we're going to do i have a few different happy planner papers here to show you guys what it looks like on there this one is one of the papers from the block pad these are a little bit thinner so we're going to see if it bleeds through these ones these pages here are from the gratitude journal and I use these every day. These are equivalent to the actual like planner pages inside of here. We may go through and highlight one of these older spreads. I'm not sure just yet. So I have those, we can try them on. And then I also have a regular happy notes over here that we can, um, we can draw on this too. So I got online, I did some research and I found all of the names to the colors. I did get a couple of them backwards and I'm not 100% for sure on the yellows if I got those colors right because it was really hard to see the difference on the computer, but I think for the most part I got them right. Don't hold me to it. Y'all can get on there and um, just Google it and search for it if you guys get these. So these, I got these from Michaels. Um, I read on there too, you can also get them from Walmart, which is so exciting to me because I am two hours away from Michaels. I actually ordered these online, but I am two hours away from Michaels. So to just run there and be able to pick something up is just unrealistic. It's not going to happen. But Walmart is 20 minutes away from me, so I can run there to pick something up. So super excited about that. I love whenever these kind of things come out into other stores. So let's go ahead and get started. I wrote these down in order by how they're lined up here. So we're gonna start with, not that one, we're gonna start with this one, which is called Papaya. It's this really pretty light pink color. So I wrote all of these out with my Muji pen. This is the Muji 3.8. You guys can see that. Love this pen, highly recommend it. Got it on Amazon. So there's that one and I do not see bleed through for the light pink, which it is a lighter color. And it doesn't look like it smeared it either. However, I did write these down and the paper's been setting here so everything is dry. I think it's important to note that because I don't, I always try to be cautious with any type of highlighting or markers or you know, whatever, whether it's um, my mild liners, whatever I'm using, I always try to let the ink dry just a little bit because regardless of what you use, sometimes it does smear. So there's that one. We'll set this over here out of the way. The next one, I believe this one is the honey one, but again, the yellows is what I'm not so sure about. That is a really pretty yellow. Very, very pretty. So then we have lemonade. This one I'm pretty sure about because that's a pretty bright yellow. And I love it, so stinking cute. This one is a bright green and we've got Limeade. We have Olive. Now this one is where I got it backwards, I believe. So I thought this was called Jade, but I think it's actually called Surf's Up. So we're gonna highlight this over here. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that color. Oh my goodness, I love 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 that blue little bit of little dot right there i can see a little bit of it coming through nothing crazy somewhat on the other side remember this these sheets are a little bit thinner too so that does make a difference um next up we have periwinkle really pretty color we have lavender Raspberry. This one is called Orchid. Ooh, that one's a really dark color. Really dark, let's see what that one did. I can see it coming through there a little bit. Again, it's nothing, it's really nothing that bad. A little dot, 
but again, the sheets are thinner, so that, that leaves me hope for these pages. Um, whoops, next up we have Brick Red. Open up Brick Red. It's a pretty color too. I'm excited you guys about all of these colors. So this one's light gray, which I'm pumped about. Love, love, love my grays, especially the mild liner ones. So then we go to this one. I don't know how to say this. It's G-U-A-V-A. -A. Gava? Guava? I don't know. We're gonna highlight it anyways. And that is a really, really pretty corally color. I really like that one. So then this one I think is mango. That one's pretty too. I love that one. This one's called Salted Caramel. Oh, that one's a really cute color. I just thought of some stickers that that would look cute with. This one is called Sea Green. And that one's really pretty too. This one is called Pear, I do believe. And then we're gonna flip back over here. This is the one I think that's called Jade. Oh, I love that color. That one's really cute. We have Scuba Blue. And I love that one. I love the blue family in here. We have Indigo. Cute, cute, cute. Grape. Really pretty purples. This one is called Plum. Ooh, that's a really dark one too. Little dots. We have Cinnamon. Which is cute. And then we have the darker gray, which is just called gray. And I love that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so pumped for these darn things. Look at those gorgeous colors. So many fun colors, so many fun colors. Okay, so there's that. I can see little dots, a little bit of that color showing through, um, but honestly, it's not that bad. So let's actually try this on these pages. So I did take the uh, Muji pen and I wrote Muji pen here a bunch. And then everything else on this sheet is wrote with this pen, which is my um, Signo Uni Ball, and I highly recommend both of these pens, actually. Both of them I got from Amazon as well, and I will link um, the pens, these, down below, and then I'll have a link to the Happy Planner website if you guys want to check out anything that they have. So let's, um, let's pick some colors here just to mess around with. So I love this one. Gosh, that is so bright and so fun. Let's do, like, some underlining. Let's see what this looks like real quick. So the only place that I can see that color is where I did the highlighting over like this. I don't see the line and I can kind of see the squigglies just a bit. But that's nothing, that's nothing to me. Like I don't actually see the bleed through if that makes sense. You can kind of see it, but it, it's also because I'm holding the paper up here into the light like that. So. Let's do the dark gray. And the light gray, which I think is cool. My mama is texting me. I love these yellow colors. So stinking cute. This corally color is gorgeous. Oh, man, do I love that. Look at that with these blues and grays. Like, how cute is that? That color combination right there. That is beautiful. Okay, let's look at this. Let's just take this out. So, I do see some of that color coming through just a smidge, smidge, smidge bit. And it's just where it's the bigger highlights. So, I love it. I will definitely be using them inside of my planner. Let's do... Should I highlight any of these ones? Oh gosh, you guys, I need to finish that. Don't wanna highlight that one, don't wanna highlight that one, don't wanna highlight that one. Um, oh man, you guys, I don't wanna highlight these pages. We will, 
and we'll highlight, no, we're not gonna highlight this one because I have not taken an after pen photo of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an old planner and we'll highlight it. Okay, so this one I used for the last few, um, last semester of nursing school. Ooh, this would be cute with that. This color, I think. Is this the brick red? Let's highlight in here. This is the mini. Oh yeah. That looks really cute with those. I'm just randomly, randomly doing stuff here. We'll kind of underline those. And let's have a look-see here. Nope. I see two little dots right there. So the darker, obviously too, those are darker colors, but I see the two little dots and I can kind of see just a smidge of it coming through, but nothing too crazy. Let's go with this one. Actually, we could use two. Where's the other color that I'm thinking of? There's that one. Did I just use this one? I don't think so. Let's highlight here, here. I'm just randomly highlighting, guys. This pretty purple. Kind of make it look like I intentionally highlighted it, right? Oh, that color is so cool. Okay. So, highlighted those. We flip it over, and the darker color I do see more of, for sure coming through on the pages. So there's that. Let's take just a couple of them across a happy note and we shall see what happens. Do some darker, some lighter colors. see-through but nothing nothing crazy I'm okay with that if we look at my mild liners let's see how they do well if I can hold it right there's that let me grab a few more yes my chair is squeaky it hates me I don't know why it is what it is this is one of my favorite colors that one and that I always thought it was like a goldish color, but it turns out a little bit yellow. We've got our gray, this blue, which I use all the time. We've got purple. And that color. Mm, it's a pretty equivalent. I mean, I can see the darker shades from the Sharpie S notes a little bit more than the um, the mild liners, but it's kind of comparable as far as bleed through goes, except for the darker color. So you guys might not be able to tell it so much because of the bright lights, but in person I can see it and it's just a little bit. It's nothing, it's nothing too crazy. So again, that makes me happy to know that there's nothing severe. Now I have had my mild liners bleed through. Sometimes you push too hard for them. On them sometimes you get just that corner on there like too much and it bleeds through just a little bit normally it's no big deal you can cover those up with stickers but nonetheless I will say I am super pumped about these I'm really excited I'm really happy about it because there are so many more colors than what I have with my mild liners like let me grab all my mild liners and we'll look here at the difference There's those, we've got these ones, and so there's how many mild liners I got, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15 mild liners and 24 of these. So way more colors here, way more options, obviously. Um, but I still love my mild liners. Like I'm not saying get rid of your mild liners or don't get them or whatever. Matter of fact, I recommend getting both <laughs> because we have a, uh, have a little bit of a obsession with pins and markers and all that fun stuff. But I do love them. Um, I will say if you're going to get the Sharpie S notes, I don't remember how much they are full price. Maybe it's like $24 or something like that. Uh, Michael's had a 50% off coupon that I used. Um, it was 50% off one regular priced item and I used that on these to get them, which was so worth it. So if they have another coupon coming up or another sale, watch for them then. So my review is that I love them so much. I love them, I love them, I love them. They're gorgeous, I love the colors. I love the feel of them. I love that chiseled tip on them. I like the way you hold them. Um, the bleed through is nothing dramatic or crazy. I like that you can color with them, you can highlight with them, you can draw, you can underline, like all the things. Um, same thing kind of with the mild liner. So that makes me really, really happy about these. Um, I will have to hide them from my child. <laughs> Just like I kind of have to hide my mild liners because if not, that kid is gonna get a hold of them for sure. And let me tell y'all, little boys are rough on markers. So rough on them. He like takes a chiseled tip and makes it flat. <laughs> So I will be, mama will be hiding these and hoarding these all to herself. So that's my review. I love them. I think it's worth getting them. That's totally up to you though. Um, you know, I can't make that decision for you. All I can do is be honest about it. I do like them. I love the color selection. I love that they don't bleed through like crazy. So for me, it's a win and it was definitely worth it. If you guys have any questions about these, um, let me know down in the comments. And if you guys want to see me use this on other types of paper, let me know if I have the paper or if I can get the paper. I will be uh, more than happy to do that and try them out for you guys if you guys are wondering. So that's it, guys. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. And I will see you all in the next video.